I feel like since patch 2.6 released, all I hear about is Mosaic and how strong it is. After patch 2.6 now applying negative enemy resistance to traps, the Trapson got a huge buff. We're self-wielding Infinity and a Branda stock. That's so that we can have negative 20 attack speed essentially on this weapon. It's the fastest base you could put it in. Then we got some random gloves with some attack speed on them, some good resistances on them, some magic find doesn't hurt. Random FCR ring with some magic find on it as well, some mana, some other good stuff. Arachnid's mesh, we got Raven Frost, some other random boots with some resis on them and stuff. Perfect Tomorrow's, Enigma, Griffin's Eye, CTA, and then Phoenix on swap. This is so we can get mana and life back as we need. This is kind of extra, you know, just the utility quality of life type of thing. Then we got Geeds, bunch of trap skillers. No need really for a uh, Sundering Charm on this because lightning immunes usually get broken by the infinity. And then on top of that, our mercenaries using plague so we can even get more negative enemy res once he gets hit. We got plague, fortitude, and crescent moon. I think this goes really well with me self-wielding infinity as well. And then flickering flame just to add a little bit of fire res on top of everything. Our fire res isn't bad. Here's all our stats. Here's our skill tree right here. Basically just max lightning sentry and all of its synergies. I one pointed blade shield. I maxed out fade even though I probably won't even use it that much honestly. Use burst of speed more because that really gives me that max trap laying speed. So between having an absolute godly mercenary and then really powerful traps this is essentially overkill on players one but i'll go and show a couple different areas with it so i'll go do a bail run real quick actually let me go do chaos real quick i usually start with bail i feel like lately See, and then we can just swap, get our mana, our life back in the meantime. Of course, this is a lot more expensive than a than a mosaic assassin. And that also opens the door for you to be able to finally have a really fun martial arts assassin that wasn't just a kicker, you know, or a riffson or something like that. So I think mosaic is great. I just think mosaic's not as good as this in terms of Especially if you're a lazy player and you just want to farm, just want to stand around kind of like an AFK kind of build and clear everything in the level. I think that this is a great build for that. And the mercenary is just an absolute beast. See, this is one of those rare one of those rare enemies that the Sundering Charm would definitely help with. So we could either choose to, you know, keep it moving or we can let our mercenary deal with them. I feel he's low enough now. Might as well have. We probably should have moved on from him earlier. But for the sake of just showcasing, like the mercenary can handle the stuff that we can't. And if you really wanted to, you could put a Sundering Charm in there and then maybe run run a sundering charm and run fade but for my purposes and everything moving faster inside of town running faster in general i kind of like kind of like using burst of speed and not having terrible res on this character So, it doesn't really seem like it's, I mean, this is only players one, so you're not going to see a massive difference compared to like a Trapson with Spirit and Hodo and then like an Infinity Mercenary. It's going to just be, you know, taking everything out and popping the corpses. But, you'll definitely notice a bigger difference when we get to like the bosses and certain things like that. 
And if we were on a higher player count, you would definitely be telling the difference a little bit more. But this has absolutely no trouble with any area in the game. And you can basically just stand back, let the traps and the mercenary do all the work. And I really think it, it synergizes really well with having Plague on the Mercenary. That's, that's one thing that I haven't really seen people talk about. how Just how good a self-infinity wielding character can be when you think about the opportunities it opens up for your Mercenary and stuff like that. Like I was thinking you could even have like an infinity wielding Amazon character that's like a, uh, a summoner focused on the Valkyrie and stuff. So, I mean, for a character where you're pretty much just standing around... Wow, I guess I never bought another Tome of Town portal for cows. For having a build where you're essentially just standing around, it just takes everything out for you. Let's go do Worldstone real quick. I'm kind of hoping we actually see some souls so I can demonstrate how how I would deal with those and everything. <laughs> On players one though, you de the plague mercenaries definitely overkill. He's going to be more of a you know the cleansing aura helping me out more so than the lower res cuz I mean everything's just dying so fast anyways. So it really kind of depends on your personal needs with where you farm, how you play. I think those skeletons though usually have pretty high, pretty high lightning res. So I mean, this is nice, like this is a good it's a good class for getting a bunch of runes and stuff on because as you can see we're just clearing we're just going everywhere taking everything out and by doing that you know even if you're taking out a ton of trash mobs it's kind of similar to like an Aradin or a Tesladin or something you wind up you wind up picking up a lot of good gear and stuff off of characters off of enemies that you would normally not even really stop for to take the time to bother with and that's just by by the fact that your character is just taking everything out and passing pretty quickly as well you know you're getting you know you can target farm even faster or you can really just clear everything if you really want to maximize your chance at like you know, some bases or some runes, you know, whatever the case may be. Thought I saw a War Scepter. I'm always curious about getting one of those. That's good. I need to get, I need to get a call to arms base that has like some points and energy shield for my sorceress. So I don't have to have a spirit shield and a CTA on swap. I just want to have like a, a war staff with energy shield on it. Because I'm liking a lot of different builds where I literally just have energy shield like one point. Or three points like on a, on a piece of gear. Like on a memory staff or something rather than even putting any points in. And still going max energy build on that. And it it does amazingly you never have to worry about mana you still got pretty good toughness because the sorceress is kind of like a glass cannon anyways hmm. here i am playing playing an assassin talking about sorceress builds and of course as you know this would be great in cows this would be great anywhere i'm gonna hurry up and get it get it to where we need to go 
That way I don't have a crazy long video. But, I mean, I guess, like, we're showing a full playthrough for all the people that are like, That's not a full clear! You didn't even kill 10% of the monsters! Maybe they'll be satisfied with this, but then they'll say, You just made the video 10 minutes to get extra ad revenue! So it's like, damn. No matter what you do, you're making a mistake. That's the thing. You're always making a mistake in somebody's eyes. Even if you're doing exactly what you personally intend to do, so... Fuck em. Hmm. I needed to have more... More death sentries right there. Had too many lightning sentries and not enough death sentries. That second wave would have popped a lot faster. See, look at that. I mean, go figure. Who would have thought Infinity, Griffin's Eye, Enigma, Plague, Fortitude, Flickering Flame? Who would have thought that would have done good on Players 1? Who would have thunk it? That's all the more reason not to nerf something like like mosaic though because it's like that's that's a great access to power for somebody who doesn't have the time to to get all of this shit you know if somebody wants to play their very first ladder season or something and have a really cool assassin character that's really powerful you know that takes advantage of something like dragon flight you know, instead of having Enigma and, and doesn't have Infinity, they're still going to be good. Alright, time for the moment we've all been waiting for. So, I mean, it definitely kills... A lot faster than the regular traps and used to. Of course it doesn't kill as fast as a plague. I mean as fast as a mosaic assassin against the boss. But it's less work for clearing general areas. And it's and you can stack better magic find on it probably. Maybe not. Maybe you could just do a plague and just have tons of magic find and not even really need shit in the inventory. Let me know. You could do that with this too. You could just fill up on nothing but magic find small charms and stuff. You don't need any of these trap skillers in my opinion, honestly. But this is just my take on it. This is just the way that I like this particularly. Of course, it also doesn't kill like as fast as like one of, one of the old dragon talon kicks and where the kick never missed and you just crushing blow machine gun down the boss. But I don't know. I like it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Hope you have a great day. Really appreciate you watching the videos and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much.